We are learning more about one of the victims of a deadly boat crash in Chambers County. The family of 28 year old Zach Miles says that he was driving one of the boats last night when that crash happened. Miles, along with two others, was flown to Memorial Hermann but died at the hospital. His nephew spoke with Channel 2's Bill Barajas about Miles and his love for his family. Bill. Today would have been Zach Miles' 29th birthday. His nephew says they should be celebrating, but instead they are mourning. Trapper Champ was holding back tears, reflecting at the water's edge. He came alone, choosing to be near the place his uncle took his last breath. Out here remembering him and missing him. I know that's where he liked to be. So I figured I'd come out here to be a little bit closer to him. Zach Miles was driving a bass fishing boat Sunday night when there was a collision. He was hurt and taken to the hospital by Life Flight. We got to the hospital, wait for everyone showed up, and uh, that's just when everything kind of hit for us. And uh, it's just complete shock. It was there that they got the news that Miles had passed away. Miles is remembered as a teddy bear with a heart of gold. We're uh, we're managing, like I said, it's it was out of the blue, unexpected. So it's hitting us like a freight train right now. Two others were killed and two remain in critical condition. A total of 12 people were involved in the crash, and Champ says everyone knew each other, including Jacob Bro. Bro was driving the other boat and has since been charged with three counts of intoxication manslaughter and two counts of intoxication assault. Only thing I can do is ask good Lord, try to forgive, and uh, try to be a good Christian about it. That's all I can do. That's all I can hope anyone else can do. And as you can see, Champ isn't the only one who's visited the area today. This makeshift memorial has been slowly growing throughout the day. You see loved ones there gathered around that makeshift memorial. As far as the investigation, though, the game wardens are in charge. Live in Chambers County, Bill Barajas, KPRC Channel 2 News.